In this video, I am going to compare the AMD's Ryzen 7 4700U, the newer processor with this older 3700U processor and we will look out what kind of the performance difference we could uh, expect between these two processors. So uh, the key difference comes with the process upgrade from 14 nanometer to 7 nanometer which is kind of a big jump as you can see the Intel is still struggling with the 10 nanometers uh, fab but AMD used the external fab houses most notably TMF, TSMC and that's how uh, AMD leaped ahead of the Intel which is still struggling and probably it's Tiger Lake launch uh, that's going to happen as I write this as I make this video uh, that can catch up with the AMD's uh, 4700U and also the newer 4800U. So moving back up, we have the, the key difference is that the number of the cores, which is eight cores in this newer 4700U, and that's where the most of the CPU improvement is going to come in. And also noticeable is the cache memory that doubles from 4 MB to 8 MB, and that also is going to give a boost in the performance. C700U is still has the double the number of threads, but that's not going to replace the real cores, which are much faster. If you have to also look for the doubling the number of threads, you can look at the AMD's 4800U that will have this hyper threading enabled, and that will have 16 cores, and that, that's how the 4800U gets faster in CPU, uh, especially in the multi-threaded uh, environment. So, uh, in the clock top frequency, in terms of the clock frequency, we obviously, we have a little faster, but then even with the lower core, lower clock frequency, because of the number of the increased cores, uh, this 4700U is performs much better. And we can see this in the benchmark, the Cinebench R20 single core, this is faster by 20%. And if you go to the multi-core, this, this, this performance improvement um, bumps by 35%. So certainly 4700U uh, looks much more uh, promising. Um, we have, the insert in addition to the base core, if you look at the single core uh, CPU frequency, it can bump up to 4 GHz versus 4.1 GHz. This increased uh, single core uh, turbo frequency is what gives its uh, single core performance improvement. And moving into the GPU, we have, uh, we have a higher number of execution units, but these are more efficient and higher clock, and, this lim and it's a newer, uh, newer graphics whole architecture, and that's how we see in the multi, in this uh, iGPU uh, benchmarking number, this one is like 30% improvement, and in the real games as well, when you get like uh, 30 frame per second in any typical scenario, we have seen that in Lenovo's, in, in 4700U, we get something like uh, a th a 40 frame per second. So we, it has been observed and has been verified. This 4700U also runs much cooler in the same gaming situations. For example, if you observe this CPU running or GPU running at 65 degrees centigrade, you can find this one 4700U running much cooler at 55 degrees centigrade. So uh, we do have this 4700U based uh, notebooks available. Uh, for example, you know, Slim 7 that you can search for, and they're not very expensive. I believe between 700 to 900 dollars. Uh, smaller screen, like 15.6 inches. You can find this uh, this laptops available, and I will highly recommend this in comparison to this older 3700U. Uh, 4800U could be make, make it even better, but uh, I do not see any of them, any laptop available based upon 4800U uh, that could give a even better uh, CPU performance, especially with the hyper threading enabled, and that will give another 20% improvement in the CPU performance. Uh, Intel's closest match is going to be with the release of the Tiger, uh, 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 more recent uh, 11th generation 
uh, Tiger Lake processors, but that, uh, probably it will take some time for the notebooks to appear, maybe a month or so. Uh, and the Intel's Tiger Lake is going to catch up in the GPU performance, but they are still going to be behind in terms of the CPU performance. So uh, if you are looking for any performance and you are a software geek who has to run a lot of uh, code to run to compile your code, I will highly suggest, strongly suggest you use 4700 processor. Thanks for taking a look.